Composition with Maryland County District 3 Representative Honor Austin Taylor. Today you did write plenary about some discrepancy in terms of how offices have been distributed. Tell us the, 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 the merit of that communication and how do you feel personally? So thanks for having me um, to, to discuss the matter that I placed on the floor in chambers today. I think that it's important if we intend to change things in the country, then we should start to do things differently. Uh, we were sworn into office and we are supposed to assume or assume the responsibility that the people of the Republic of Liberia have given to us. And we have been, we have been uh, all lawmakers have been uh, attending session. But unfortunately, there are most of the lawmakers who do not even have offices to 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 work from, and this, this matter I think is a serious uh, concern to most of the lawmakers. And I thought it wise to that plenary addresses it. Well, what is happening over here at the Capitol right now is that there are a few offices that are in good condition, which uh, are considered to be the the Chinese section where the Chinese uh, built and renovated. So. So you have a bulk of the lawmakers trying to get these offices and, you know, uh, like having a rush over them. Uh, there was, there, there has been, there has been a process whereby the committee on rules and other uh, arranging offices and giving to, and giving them to the chairman, co-chairs. I think my, my contention over here is that whether you belong to a committee, whether you don't have a committee, uh, once you are a lawmaker and appointed by appointed by the people of Liberia, you need a space to operate from. Unfortunately, most of the spaces in the building are not decent. They are dark, no electricity. Uh, they are not cleaned. They are broken apart, doors falling apart. How do you expect the lawmakers to operate? I mean, these things, when as soon as we come to work, these things were supposed to be in place on time so that you are free to do the business of the Liberian people. At the end of the day, here we are today. We 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 attend, we have come to work, and then offices are not ready. And then when you when 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 you are not doing the business of the Liberian people, then it's a breach of the constitution of the Republic of Liberia. Because once you are elected, you now and then you are sworn into office, it's time for you to start work. But contrarily, things are not the way that the constitution has said it to be. And what happens over here if you don't do the business of Liberian people? Then you hold the country at a standstill. So this is the reason why I place this communication uh, before plenary to be discussed. I was thinking into an executive, but one may say you quote unquote are not being directly affected because this is one of the newest offices within this building. So why, it, why are you raising it now? And you were talking about offices not being in good condition. What's your recommendation? Because this has been an old age problem. So, so it has been an old age problem. In in the first place, over here, the fact that I'm not being affected does not mean I shouldn't talk about it. When something is wrong, you have to flag it so that it's corrected. If you want things to go on right in this country, we should be bold enough to come up and say what is wrong, whether whether it doesn't affect you or not. So this is the reason why I taught to flag it. Secondly, like you said, there are offices that are there that are that are in good good condition. Yes. These people, uh, the concern over here is that every lawmaker should be treated equally. There is no lawmaker that is more than the other. There is no superior lawmaker. There is no inferior lawmaker. You understand? And once people come here, they come to conduct the Liberian people business. And it should, be, it should be taken very seriously. How do you conduct the Liberian people business? If our colleagues are placed in darkness, they don't have, in fact, the, the offices are completely empty. Styles out, no air conditioning, you know, the doors all broken down, they're not correct, no running water. Do you have visitors even coming into the building? They don't have proper bathrooms to attend to and all these things. So this is a serious concern. And it, it was placed in uh, it was placed in executive uh, discussion. So the, the details of it, I, I, I will not get to it. But what I know over here is that it has drawn the attention of plenary. And I think I think the speaker is going is going to arrest the matter. That's a way forward. Oh, that's a way forward. Uh, in addition to Moscone's uh, statement, you are one of the newer lawmakers in 
parliament for sure our legislature. Yeah. The concern being raised by you, my colleague Jamie referred to it that this is an old age problem. The people in Barable elected you as a representative. But it's like you are unhappy with the condition of the House of Representatives. Is it the case? So the reason why the people in Parobo, the reason why the people in Kaluwe elected me is to come and make a change. So I'm not going to come since it's an old age problem, as everybody see it to be. Somebody says that, no, this, this is an old age problem, this is why we met, this is why my predecessors, this is the condition my predecessors lived in. So because of this, I, sh I, should, I shouldn't have, you know, flagged it. We just come and adopt to it. I don't believe in adopting to things that are not right because this is where change starts from. The change for the nation starts from the house of the legislature. So if we and um, if we fail to 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 recognize this and say at this particular point in time, we, we will not notice that in the greater society. This is the reason why you find garbage all over the country. This is the reason why you find systems that are not working. We need to try to change and then get ready for a, you know to do things differently and, and for, for the better good of the people of Liberia. So the, the, the interesting thing here is uh, I, I want to do it in a twofold as we conclude. This is the final one. So uh, what's your recommendation? Uh, because uh, maybe one could want to hear you say if the tenure of a particular batch of legislators end or ends the next batches are come and if you just have to obviously go there maybe that's that's something you're looking at the second thing i let you know is what have been your anticipation of the legislature prior to coming uh, how, did, how did you want to see it before coming so my record my, my recommendation was that the distribution of offices be put to a halt and then those offices that are not in a very good condition or are not in good condition at all be uh, uh a, be, be placed on a renovation and then contractors be hired where they go through the PPCC process so that the, all offices are placed on a good working condition. That these offices are not just for ourselves, they are for our constituents. We have constituents that come to this, to, to, to this building, they come to visit us, they need, they need to be treated properly, they need bathrooms to attend to, you understand? So there's a reason why I, I made my recommendation to be that let the offices be renovated. You can tell lawmakers to go face your own office. Where do you take the money from? So what what if you, you repair your own office? There's a reason why I noticed that lawmakers who, 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 who lost the election started packing things and taking it out of here. So when these offices are renovated and furnished, people who come, they use it. When you leave, you just you just move your, your documentation or whatever, and you, and you leave. The, the next group will come in and then take these offices. That, then they, they remain decent. But the practice of people taking things as if they are looting offices is very bad. And I think this, this, this is one of the reasons why these things happen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you very much.